How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to We Will Fix Climate Change by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I'll just straight off the bat, I love their enthusiasm. <laughs> like, we will, in all caps, fix climate change. And uh, I'm interested to see how they are going to address this issue. Like, in my opinion, I don't want to get too far into this, because uh, I know opinions on YouTube lead to disaster. But uh, in my opinion, I think we're too far gone. Like, I think we should at least slow it down for the time being, but if we will fix it, like, completely, hey, more prop to you, man. If you have any sort of idea, please help. <laughs> so, without any further ado, here is we will fix climate change. Our home is burning. It is Rapid off to a great start. Is destabilizing our world. That it, it is. Seems our emissions will not fall quickly enough to avoid runaway warming, and we may soon hit tipping points that will lead to the collapse of ecosystems and our civilization. Well, when you put it that While way. scientists, activists, and much of the younger generation urge action, it appears <laughs> most politicians <laughs> are not committed to doing anything meaningful. While the fossil fuel industry still works actively against Yeah, they're still change. booming. Let's go. It seems humanity Pollute can't the ecosystem. and obsession with short-term profit and personal gain to save I despise itself. you. And so for Stupid many, birds. the future looks grim and hopeless. That's what I was saying at the beginning, Young man. people feel particularly anxious and depressed. Instead of looking ahead to a lifetime of opportunity, yeah. they wonder if they will even have a future. Sci-fi, the future of sci-fi got world. totally different. It's an age of Used doom to be cool. and hopelessness, now it's and this. giving up seems the only sensible thing to do. But that's not true. Oh, you are not doomed. Let's Humanity go. Is not doomed. Okay, Ducky. Okay, this got me pretty excited. I really love this. Despite the seriousness of the situation, for years, positive trends have accumulated, and there is finally some good news and a clear path towards our collective climate Let's goals. Let's go. Welcome to our TED Talk. Please Hi. watch this video to the end. Check I out am. our detailed yes. sources afterwards to learn more. Okay. Okay. Right on. Let's start with the scariest things. What? Canceling the apocalypse. Oh, okay. Some of the most widely shared stories about climate change Damn, their animation are that got it is an really existential good. threat, the end of human civilization, and maybe even our own extinction event, and that it's Ooh. basically unavoidable now. But what does science actually say? We're in the As matrix. Of 2022, the global average temperature has risen 1.2 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial times. Huh. Limiting warming Don't tell the rich people that. Was They'll the think you're lying. The most goal of the Paris Agreement, but we are not likely to meet it. Already with the warming we have today, hot places will get hotter, wet yeah. places wetter, yeah. and the risk and strength of extreme weather events increase Good significantly. God. Warming beyond two degrees makes all of these extremes more extreme. Extreme weather extreme. events are common, with more ecosystems under supreme. major pressure. Some will not survive. At three degrees, That's very significant depressing. parts of Earth, especially in developing countries, might become unable to feed their populations. Uh, now we're getting to the will become really a major bad global stuff. Issue. Large scale natural systems will break down. The scale and frequency of hurricanes, fires, and droughts hurricanes? will further increase Hurricane? and cause trillions in damage. Poor regions and subsistence oh, farmers no. will be hit the hardest. Hundreds of millions Not of people will need to leave their homes. In the four to eight degree range, Calm the apocalypse down. begins. Oh, the there it is. Earth, where things change so quickly. Mad Max style. Unable to support our large human population, and pretty sure that's the DeLorean, perish, but... leaving the rest on a hostile alien planet. A Subnautica. Ago, for lack of action and perspective, many scientists assumed a four-plus degree world was our future, and a lot of public communication focused on exactly this future path. Luckily, it's much less likely that this version of the apocalypse will Ted come talk. to pass. If current climate policies stagnate. We're likely to end up with warming of around three degrees Celsius by 2100. Let's which is scary and go. tragic and far from acceptable. <laughs> it but looked like it was going down for a second. What? Now, yeah. In the last decade, Explain we've yourself. Seen enough progress that most scientists now think that we have likely avoided apocalyptic <laughs> climate change. Although substantial risk still remains, yeah. we can pretty confidently say that humanity isn't going anywhere. Civilization might have to change. But it will. A little bit. Sure. Okay. Which begs the question, what has changed over the last 10 years? And is this really good news? Yeah, you're, the you're losing shift. me. I'm not going to lie. You probably know this story. 
The last decade has been an immense failure for climate policies around the world. You don't say. Instead of passing comprehensive binding bills that would meaningfully reduce emissions, we mostly did nothing. A lost decade with one negative record after another. And this story is true, and it's one reason why so many people are giving up. You're on fire, my guy. The whole picture. Despite the lack of climate policies and <laughs> ongoing lobbying and misinformation campaigns from the fossil fuel industries, the there was a people. lot of progress. But Let's we were done go with back you. 20 years to see why today Let's go. is so different. Okay. Between 2000 and 2010, greenhouse gas emissions had grown by 24%, three times as much as the increase in the previous decade. Huh. Subsidies for fossil fuels aimed at promoting economic growth caused a colossal increase in their consumption. For developing countries like China and India, coal was the cheapest fuel for growth, while rich countries showed little interest I remember interest that in, in a previous video. Ways. In 2010, many people expected these trends to continue. Instead of decreasing fossil fuel use, its consumption would rise. The next decade turned out to be very different, though. First of all, coal burning in developing countries like India has slowed down or leveled off, like in China. Dang, and China. It's in rich countries like the UK and US. Okay. Since 2015, that's, that's three quarters of planned coal plants Something. have been cancelled, and 44 countries have committed to stop building them. Let's go. Ten years ago, that would have seemed like wishful thinking. For but real. We can say with confidence, coal is dying. It's just not competitive anymore. Because technologies we thought would remain expensive matured rapidly instead. Oh, I got Renewable you. I got electricity you. has shown explosive progress. In a mere decade, wind energy got three times cheaper. Solar electricity is now ten times cheaper. Cheaper than coal or any other fossil fuel burning power plant. Okay, this is positive. Subsidies and global infrastructure propping up fossil fuels. Okay, I like this. 25 times more solar and nearly five times more wind electricity is produced today. Let's go. To 10 years ago, oh, this is, is so nice. Really enough. I know, the but it's, the it's getting there. Of their power output. Renewables yeah. need a lot of energy storage to be a reliable power source, like yeah, we got a gate. batteries. Solar power. Amazingly, battery prices have decreased by 97% in the past 30 years, 60% in the last decade alone, which will serve all kinds of green technology like electric cars. Okay. You might say, well, that's great, but didn't Kurzgesagt's last climate video say that while wind <laughs> and solar are nice, we need nothing less than a Literally fundamental transition no. of our global industrial system? Yes, but luckily the shift goes beyond just the energy sector. Throughout the economy, people are working on improving current technology to lower emissions. This is positive. We're rapidly replacing old incandescent light bulbs with LEDs that are 10 times more efficient. Oh, yeah. In 2020, about 7 out of 10 new cars in Norway were electric or hybrid. Let's in go Norway! In it was already 8 out of 10. And the list goes on, from electric heating and better insulation, to ships traveling at half speed to save fuel. Okay, this Wherever is cool. You look, you find Very positive stuff. I know I keep saying that, but... Trying to solve some aspect of it's really change. cool. Enormous amounts of human ingenuity are being brought to bear on this problem, with more and more people deciding to prioritize preventing rapid climate change. Yay! Solutions for low-carbon production of cement, electronics, Didn't and steel... Admit. And innovations like artificial meat and carbon capture are in the works. Okay. The more of these technologies we deploy, the cheaper new and better technology gets. The cheaper they get, the more people use them. Yes. And so on. That's we why it's important. Already, the domestic CO2 output of rich countries is falling without a major recession. Since the year 2000, the EU as a whole shows a 21% decrease. Italy 28%. Nice. The UK 35%. Denmark 43%. Denmark. But the best news may be that emissions are right no longer Denmark. necessarily coupled with the economic Godspeed. growth. In the past, this was no. an inconvenient truth. To get richer, Money you had to root of all more, evil. Which led to fierce arguments between developing and developed countries Just like about that the of reducing emissions while their populations were still poor. But in the last decade, we've seen that it is possible to increase prosperity without increasing emissions. Emissions in the Czech Republic dropped 13%, while their and GDP all it took grew was a pandemic. 27%. France reduced their CO2 emissions by 14%, while increasing GDP by 15%. Huh. Romania saw an 8% decrease and 35% growth. Good God. And even the largest economy on Earth, the USA, decreased emissions by 4%, while growing their GDP by 26%.
Okay. Some of you may call this a numbers trick. <laughs> that rich countries are just uh, exporting uh, emissions uh. to poorer nations by moving the dirty parts of their economies like manufacturing. But even when we account for all of our imported goods, the numbers still look positive. Okay. It's no longer a matter okay. of having to choose between prosperity and I'm, the climate. I'm waiting for the but to be in this video. Developing countries will profit from that because as rich countries pay for the expensive development of green technologies, there we go. they can adopt them more cheaply. They can skip most ah, of the high emission okay. phase that today's rich countries went through. We are at the point where not decarbonizing is a bad business decision. And we haven't even really talked about solutions like carbon capture. In 2000, it didn't really exist. In 2022, that technology does exist and costs around $600 to remove one ton of CO2 from the atmosphere. That's not As bad. As in and the technology matures and begins to scale, Let's it's go. that these costs will be yes! in the next few decades. <laughs> so Maximum power! Fine then. Well, let's not get carried away. All of these Sorry. processes are great, but not nearly fast enough. We're still doing yeah. way too little, and technology will yeah. not magically solve. So everything. excited about it we being a positive thing. Resources and use it's a very tiny longer, positive. Design consumer goods that are repairable and durable. Let's and go. Decrease Gundam. our energy requirements. <laughs> we need much better infrastructure, Gundams and Legos, the perfect gift. and cities. It will still be hard work, especially to get the right policies passed and enacted. Yeah, that's the thing, man. The trying to get all this ever, passed. There are a few trend lines pointing solidly in the right direction. But we're looking good. And now imagine if all of this was achieved without proper financial and political support, and despite fossil fuel lobbying, just think what humanity can do when climate change finally gets the political attention and funding For it For real, needs. my guy. Come so on. Is it okay to feel hopeful again? The I, I surely am. Serious. So Definitely tooting a different this side of the story? tune. The trap of hopelessness. Climate change oh. can feel overwhelming and is this make the your butt future part of the video? Please no. The sadness and hopelessness that many people feel is real and very destructive because it causes apathy. Apathy that is only serving the fossil fuel Back industry Satan. that is still delaying change however it can. In a sense, they have weaponized it's like the hopelessness. Tobacco industry. We are now in phase four. They're all corrupted, man. I hate it. Hate change it. Action. Phase one was climate change is not real. Phase two was climate change is real, but not caused by humans. <laughs> phase three was climate change may be caused by humans, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Come on, phase guys. Four is climate change is no longer avoidable. Oh, really? Hey, hey, you don't, you don't, you don't say. If we want God, to change, so stupid. we first need to believe that change is possible, and we there have we go. Of evidence that it is. Okay, Changes to okay. our industrial I like system it. are gaining momentum. Technology gets better and cheaper. Climate change has become a key issue in most free elections. As more and more younger people move into Aren't influential me? positions, they prioritize climate change and work on new solutions. In oh, this is so. This makes me feel so good. It, but set their own net zero goals. In democratic well, like you said, it's, it's a little, countries. it's a little too late. The results of years of fighting a steep uphill battle are now clearly visible. The pressure needs to keep increasing da, da, to make da, sure da, da, da. the promises made today are actually kept. Let's go. Climate doomerism is the equivalent of giving up, even though you can still prevent not just the worst case, but also mitigate most of the bad things, make changes in time to adapt better, and prevent the poorest from suffering. That is why hopelessness and apathy are so dangerous. If the last, in many ways, wasted decade has shown anything, <laughs> yeah. it's that progress wasted, is you're being not wrong. made. There's the dog. And the dire scenarios are just predictions, not our sealed fate. I like this As video, man. This video is amazing. Current global Hell yeah. Policies, we will end up in a three degrees world. Now it's our job to yet again prove the predictions wrong, despite how serious and urgent things are. Oh, to this turn is that delightful. three degrees into a two degrees, and then see where we can go from there. Please. For that, we need hope. Uh, I was and literally about to say we need we to stay hopeful. Today, at least a little. Yeah, you, straight you up, dude. Things are serious, oh my god. Also, that you have a future, that you can have kids without dooming them or the world. Oh. That taking action today. Bring my daughter is into this, man. Make this and emotional. That's despite powerful industries doing everything to delay it, society is changing. If you need a more concrete roadmap of what you can do personally, we're working on a follow-up video to talk about oh, that. Oh, let's detail. go. Okay. Dualism, inactivity, and weaponized hopelessness are the only trump cards Back. left for the powers that don't want change. Don't let them win. Right on, man.
This is so cool. I say right on and shit like I'm a hippie. The future, it's it's one of the it's nice, man. To keep your we need to save this planet. Is to learn new things. If you don't know Skill where show? to start, our friends Brilliant. from Brilliant.org have got you covered. That was my second guess. Brilliant makes maths and science accessible and fun with a hands-on approach. Wow! More than 60 interactive courses like The Joy of Problem Solving or Scientific Thinking give you the tools to crack problems in maths, science, and computer science Love that are it. all designed to get your intuition going and give you plenty of aha experiences. <laughs> that, that was on my end, I'm not gonna lie. Storytelling, like. code writing tasks, and interactive challenges basically using whatever keeps you interested and entertained all the content is interactive instead of just reading that is a really a really neat idea you drag and drop I want to learn how to like code shit and answer do video games and all that this way you learn got the art part, part down I just need the coding part and tiny step by step you'll build up your long-term understanding of science and get closer to your stem goals right on <laughs> to start looking at the world of science from a different yeah. perspective go to brilliant.org slash nutshell and sign up for free and there's Don't an tell me twice. for Kurzgesagt viewers, the first 200 people to use the link Probably get 20% off their annual membership, which unlocks all of Brilliant's courses in maths, science, and computer science. Dude. At Kurzgesagt, we love to create things that seem impossible at first. What a deal! Brilliant can help you acquire the skills to do right that. On. Helping people help each other. I like that. What is that? Teach a, teach a man a fish and he will be satisfied for the rest of his life or something like that. <laughs> Didn't butcher the quote or nothing. I'm gonna get a poster. Straight up. I wanna get a poster. I got a plushie, but I want a poster. Oh yeah. Should have had this in the video. Can you see him? <laughs> Alright, so that was a really, really cool video. And like I said, uh, dirt, while I was watching it, like it really got to me. Like it really touched my heart. And like, like I said at the very beginning, it's like I, I, I already like wrote it off. Like yeah, we were already like we're already doomed and stuff like that. I had that mentality that they were talking about in the video, and I was like, huh, interesting. <laughs> like, it, it's just, I don't know. This video really got to me, and it uh, opened my eyes, if you will, like metaphorically, just we're not doomed like we could still save it and if like he said we're doing a little a little bit and not enough for the amount of time we have left we should be quack cracking the whip and like getting it going you know like and like he said like can you imagine like if all the laws and bills and all that that's needed all the necessary stuff all the paperwork blah 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 once the, all that passes and like can you imagine the world we'd live in with like just a hundred percent recycled energy like throughout the entirety of it and just i don't know no waste and stuff like that you use the waste and it's, i don't know I picture like a perfect world like i don't know like the original epcot design that walt disney had you know like you think of like a perfect euphoria and stuff like that i don't know it's it's really cool like it, it's something that we really should look forward to and not just oh the planet's doomed we should just give up like i me and i'm sure a lot of other people like you said like the majority of the young audience they're, they have that ma uh, mindset and it's really really it does suck and I don't know to, to share this video with uh, hopefully a lot of you guys uh, it's really really cool so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video leave a like down below subscribe and ring the bell and become a member you get videos a day early and uh, check out the merch I got merch now which is pretty neat so with that said I have been Master Zero y'all guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode later days <laughs>